Now I'm going to get you to create a load of envelopes for yourself just to see how easy it is to really change the shape of notes being played by the synthesizers in Sonic Pi. And so to do that, I'm going to teach you a new command called use synth defaults. And this is really helpful when we have an idea of the settings that we want to have for all of the synths in a composition or certainly a part of a composition. The way I've got this command set up in Sonic Pi at the moment doesn't actually do anything because these settings are all the default settings that we would get when we fire up Sonic Pi. So if I was to delete this command and play 60 and then put it back in and play 60 again, we get exactly the same, but we can start to change these settings and we will get all of those different shapes and different envelope types that we talked about before. So this is a really helpful command. Obviously here I'm only playing one note, but if I had a load of notes being played in a composition, this can really help us out. I guess it's worth just looking for a moment at what this default envelope actually is, because it's kind of interesting. There doesn't seem to be a lot of stuff going on here. We have an attack of zero, so there's, there's no real attack phase. There's no real decay phase. There's no real sustain phase and we have a one beat release. And so actually all that's going on here is this, where we have the note going away from us over the course of one beat. And if we listen, that kind of makes sense because it's very quickly disappearing. There's no sense of sustain at all with this note. It's already, as soon as it started, basically going away again. And that's what happens over the course of one beat. Just as an experiment, let's see what happens if we change the release to zero. So we basically have zero for all of our attack, our decay, our sustain and release. We just get that little and that, that little sound and that makes sense in a way because we have to have some kind of attack, like it's essential that the sound actually starts at some point. But because we don't want it to fade in over a certain amount of time and because we don't want it to sustain for any amount of time and because we don't want it to release for any amount of time, it kind of just stops dead. So once there's that initial attack there's no time to any of the notes, so it just sort of is the tiniest amount of note that Sonic Pi can do. I wouldn't say musically that's all that helpful, and so with a release of one, instead we get an envelope that looks like this, just a disappearing of the note over the course of one beat. We can start to play around with this, and so that's what I want you to do now. So I'm going to pause the video here, and I'm going to ask you to add an attack phase of one beat to join that release phase of one beat. And so we're looking for an envelope, ultimately, that looks like this. The sound is going to come in over one beat, and then disappear over one beat. Hopefully you realise the thing you needed to do here was just to change our attack setting to 1 so that we get an attack phase of 1. It takes 1 beat to go from 0 in terms of volume to 1 in terms of volume and then the same amount of time to go in the opposite direction to go from full volume at 1 back down to 0. Let's take a listen to that. That's a very nice kind of ridge shape. We go up from 0 to 1 and then back down from one to zero. Let's say we want to modify this sound again. The next challenge is gonna be, can we add in a sustain of one as well? So now I want the sound to come in over one beat, hang around at full volume for one beat, and then disappear over one beat. The thing we're going to have to change here, of course, is the sustain parameter. And when we do that, we're going to get now a three beat sound. The sound's going to come in over one beat, hang around for one beat, and disappear over one beat. So it's a little bit longer. It's now three beats long, whereas before it was only two beats long. So we're getting the idea of this now. And so for the next challenge, I'm going to get you to just add in a decay phase. So I want to go from full volume when we reach the attack. So the attack is going to be over the first beat. Stay, this is staying exactly the same. And then from the peak of the attack, I want to decay to 25% of the volume level, sustain that for a second. And I want the decay phase to take place over two beats. So I want that to be a much longer phase. In fact, the longest part of this sound will be the coming away from the peak volume of one down to the sustain level of 0.25. So to do that, we're going to have to change our decay 
time to two beats, but then we're gonna have to change sustain level as well to tell Sonic Pi that we don't want sustain at one, we want to sustain at 0.25, and it's gonna sound like this. So we just had a longer period where we were coming down. We went up really quickly, down a bit more slowly, then sustained for our normal one beat, and then released over the course of one beat. And that's the full control of this envelope. Let's just try something absolutely crazy to finish off. So I want you to start me a piece that takes 13 beats to come in. It decays to a level of 0.6 over the course of 10 beats. I want it to sustain for one beat and I want it to just stop dead. So I don't want there to be any release phase at all. So here we go, hopefully I can remember all the numbers that I just said. So I want you to come in over 13 beats, so the attack phase is gonna be 13. We're gonna decay over 10 beats to a level of 0.6. We're gonna sustain just for one, so we're just gonna have really, really short sustain phase once that decay period is finished, and then we're gonna just stop dead. And you'll notice it sounds really, really unnatural, this release of zero, because there's, there's almost no musical instrument that doesn't have this kind of uh, gradual move back from some kind of sound to zero. It sounds quite unnatural when we hear that, but here's our really, really long note that takes this journey over, well, it's gonna be 13 seconds for the attack, plus 10 seconds for the decay, plus um, one second for the sustain. So it should be 24 seconds it'll take to finish this sound off completely. Oh, and that's always going to be a bit of a surprise. Whenever you set a release of zero, it's going to sound a bit sort of like the sound finished too soon. But sometimes you want to create that effect. It's a very, very unique effect to a computer composition, actually. It's very difficult to create that kind of cutoff anywhere else. So that's envelopes. I think we've had a good dig in there. It might seem very technical and geeky at this point, but we can get some really interesting sounds and lots of the compositions that we'll see coming up make use of these envelopes to create unique and special sounds that they need to make for those compositions. So let's move on and look at something completely different in the next lesson.